Oh, well, look what we got today. Nice. Honey, what did we get today? Spent a lot of money. <laughs> Shoot. See how it works. Welcome to North Dakota. There's no snow. It's December 5th. Yep. Needless to say, we're getting the Scotty. Yep. Here's our old shop here. <laughs> You got there. What are those things? Mm -hmm. What'd you call them? I don't know. Just trying to show people what we gotta put to the front. Great. What? Is that funny? <laughs> Hilarious, actually. I don't know, little turnbuckle things with other turn little buckle things on it to fasten them down. Perfect. And now the wrench is fit, so we're gonna use the crescent wrench. Perfect. Yay. Fun part. Now I gotta do the other side. I don't know if you can see that. Just in there, pull it down. And now he's doing this side here. Sweet. Great work. Come on. All right, I'm freezing out here, but it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Great job. Great job. So I'll fasten in, honey? Not yet. Oh, okay. Time to hook up the lights, hey? Yep. Watch your eyes. <laughs> Yeah, usually you can plug this right into your bed. Usually have to plug in right here, but I guess board sucks. So uh, <laughs> you gotta string it down here. Is that gonna shut nicely or what? route this like that and then you plug it in right there nice I'll pull the ramp on the snow pro sled deck Probably not too bad. It's doable with one person. It's aluminum. I've had steel ramps before and they're horribly miserable. Super heavy. There we go. Heavy. So I think that's as far as it extends, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Which still looks pretty steep. Yeah, it does. They say it's a 12 foot ramp. Do you have a tape measure? In the house, in the apartment. See how long this ramp really is. Measure time. Does it look like 12 feet to you? I don't know. Maybe. I think they're lying. Think so? Five, seven, eight, nine. It's nine? Nine and a half feet. I'm guessing it's ten foot, but 
It doesn't seem like it's extended all the way. It doesn't go. either. I don't know. These nuts are, I think, right in place there. to stop the ramp so it doesn't tell us it doesn't slide all the way out. But I want to yeah. pull this out and extend it down to here so we have a total of 10 foot ramp. Because right now it's about nine and a half foot ramp. Yeah, pretty steep. And that sucks. Especially so, with the snow bike we're going to load. Especially when we get 35s on this. <laughs> yeah. We got tires and wheels coming for this new pickup here. So, pretty short ramp. Yeah. We go grab the S10 and we got the snowmobile in. Back it up. Snowpro gives you a little bar for ski tie downs. Here's a little bevel. You can adjust this. This is how you'll tighten down the bar on the skis. There's a little plate in here threaded. So you'll throw this down. Nice. Here. Next, now I'm trying to get the snow bike on this sled deck. Yep. See how it goes. See how it goes. All right, let's check out the snow bike. Well, I guess we got it up here. Gang, gang. That was a workout for me. Baby. Oh my god. Got yeah. Okay, got it up there. We kind of just strapped it on to the main bar here. Because it's not like we have any tie downs on this. Not really made for snow bikes. Alright, got the lights hooked up. Looks good, huh? All the lights work. Fresh alpha rail on this bad boy. Yep, Does just got a new first one. Yep. Warranty. Yep. Well, that's a wrap. We got everything up there. The snow bike was a little sketchy, but it's up there. So. Sweet. Um, looking for some recommendations on 
tie downs for a snow bike on top of a sled sled deck. Um, got some pretty sketchy tarp straps up there right now. So, any recommendations? Send them in the comments below. Thanks.